Hello and welcome to another update video about XRP. Um, we start with a bullish scenario. This is getting less likely as we speak because we are lacking here really any evidence of bullish movement. The bullish scenario will get back into focus should we really move impulsively above 41 point, uh, what is it, 41, 41 cents, yeah, the wave one high. And in the bullish scenario, we can count from the low at 28.6 cents, a wave one to the upside and a wave two to the downside. This is possible, um, even though this doesn't really look like a five wave move to the upside here, but we need to be able to count a five wave move in order to make it an impulsive price action. Yet we can count it actually on a lower time frame as five wave move, even though it doesn't look like it. I showed in a previous video, it's a bit painful, it's a bit forced, and therefore I have really my concerns and my doubts about the bullish scenario. I did um, start to unpack it again when we broke back above the 88.7% FIB level, which is here at 37.8 cents. But you can see how we're just dancing around this FIB level. We haven't really broken it substantially. So the only reason really why I unpacked that bullish scenario again uh, and why I counted like that is because we broke above that level, but it was only briefly. Now, from that wave two low, we could then assume that we are in this wave three. And in the wave three, we have done a wave one, a wave two, and we can assume we are in the wave three in green. And in there, you have another one, two setup. And you should now be in the wave three in pink of the wave three of the wave three, should be a very bullish setup. But as you can see here, um, we are lacking any evidence of bullish price action. So again, as long as we stay below the 41 cent level, we have to have significant doubts about the bullish scenario. We are holding currently above the 50 day moving average, but we can't really push above the 88.7% FIB level. So we're really fighting with that level. And at the moment, yeah, I'm not convinced that the bullish scenario is going to play out. We need a clear signal. One of those signals would be impulsive price action above, again, 41 cents. And then in the next move to the upside, which target do we need to reach? We need to reach, well, at least, and that's the absolute minimum, we need to reach at least 44.3 cents. The one-to-one -one ratio better would be the 49.5 cent level. But there's a lot of resistance along the way. And that is actually the 1.618 FIP extension of the wave one. That would be an ideal target for the pink wave three. Now let's take a look at the bearish scenario. And I think we have to put that much more into focus again if we don't really see here any impulsive price action to the upside. Now, in the last video, I showed you here the idea that from the low, we created here, um, yeah, this, this sort of W, X, Y pattern. Um, which is fine. The problem is that we have now is that after that, what we did or what we would want to see ideally is this impulsive price action to the downside, basically in a wave one. And then we have already the problem because we could at the time count this as an impulsive move, but this long correction now messes it up a little bit. So what I'm actually like, what I actually like to do. So basically what you would expect, what we expected in the last video, or at least what in terms of the bearish scenario would have had to work out was a one, a two, the three down, the four up and the five down. But due to that long sideways movement here and the lack in direction, it's looking really like as if we are doing here a triangle pattern. Therefore we can, without a problem, move this wave Y further over here and assume that this wave one might be unfolding now, but we get to that in a minute. Um, and then we look at this in terms of an A, B, C, and then we've got this triangle coming, yeah? All part of the wave Y. So basically A, B, C creates the um, A wave of the triangle. Then you have the wave B down, the wave C up, the wave D down and the wave E up. So I can put that onto the chart here actually. So from the wave X, we go high in a wave A, B, C. From here then, 
and by the way, the wave four needs to sit here then, where the wave the Y is ending. Um, and then we are unpacking here the Elliott wave triangle, where we say, all right, um, so that ABC was actually the wave A of the triangle, yeah, three wave move, we then come down in a wave B, moving up in a wave C, coming down in a D, moving up in an E. Very important that the triangle, the wave E, does not go above the wave C. So I'm actually thinking, did we actually do that? Not really, we came to the same level. So that's okay, yeah, but if we go above it, then we have to assume the wave C wasn't finished, we have to move it above, because the wave E is not allowed to break above the wave C. Okay, and then we could assume due to the impulsive price action to the downside that maybe wave one was already unfolding and we are now moving up here in a wave two that could move up a little bit higher. Yeah, it could very well retrace a little bit more to the upside before. We then come down impulsively in a wave three down, wave four up, wave five, where's the wave five gone? Down. Yeah, and with that move overall, we could possibly make a lower low, lower than the 28.7 cent level. So we need to be on high alert that this could just here be a triangle pattern, which will, and again, these always break out to the opposite side of the wave E. So if this is the right wave count, we would expect a move to the downside. Best indication that the triangle is broken would be a move below 36 and a half cents, the wave D low and real confirmation is obtained below the wave B. That is always the confirmation that the triangle breaks in this case below 35.8 cents. And then we have basically clarity that that impulsive move to the downside is unfolding. Yeah, so at the moment, uh, a lot of indecision in the market. This to me looks more at the moment towards the downside, but again, until the triangle breaks, it's sort of unclear. Um, when does the triangle get invalidated? Again, it will be above 41 cents. I mentioned that level in the bullish scenario and therefore Above 41 cents, we can say that the bearish scenario is so far invalidated this particular one. Okay, and that's my update about XRP. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe, and also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and you can find the links in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching, bye-bye.